He'll look back and say Final Fantasy 7. Today we brought our buggy buggy this way. Kinda close to Gungaga. But now it's broken down. Dio, you cheapskate. Good grief. I'm so... I'm gonna complain to the manager. Gold saucer for that. All right, let's go. Be quiet a minute. Man, isn't that beautiful? Such a beautiful theme. I love that. That is cause and candy. Such a beautiful theme, man. My tribe protected some foods. We appreciate this beauty. But for Cahan and the plant. My brave mother fought and died. My cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father. Yes, my father was a was a wasterer. Wasterer, restaurant. To the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Aww. Hang on, okay, you're home. Come in, Grandpa. Not okay, come on. Let's rest for a bit. There are some things I want to find out about it, anyways. Now, you know, early on I was going to name him Nanake because that is his actual name. But I decided to backtrack on it and just look at it's Red 13. Bar over there. If you don't have to actually go to that, oh well. The day the music died. So sad it happens. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I just gotta get some items. Yeah, we should this way. We'll be alright. Yeah, I can listen to the song anytime. It was so nice that I got the Smash Brothers, I'd say. Yes, I did play Smash Brothers. 
Uh, no, I don't agree with community. You know, we can act sometimes. It'd be a little weird. Let's just go sell some things. Because there's some material I really want. Yeah, I'm gonna sell me ether too. Don't touch me. Yeah, we arrived in Anakis home and well. I know him. It's Grandpa's here, and oh man. Oh, but now the item screen looks weird, because in the shop screen, Nanaki is usually under Barrett. Or at 13. Now he's gonna go away? That's so unfortunate. Man, look at that background. And our ship's broken, so. Clock. This is my grandfather. Boogan. Boogahogan. He is incredible. He knows everything. Oh, oh, oh. I. I know that you do not okay. You look over after not okay. Not okay is a child, you see. Please stop, Grandpa. Grandfather, I'm 48. <laughs> Nautica's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 years would only be equivalent to, say, that of a 15, 16 year old in human reckoning. Hmm. 15 or 16? It's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult. <laughs> Run, father. You want to be an adult. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to be an adult. I want to grow up and be able to protect you in the village. <laughs> no, not okay. You can't stand on your own yet. To do that now will destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great. Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. What's a time for the planet to die? You'll understand that you know absolutely nothing when it's time. When the planet dies. It may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now. But it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet, Cloud. <laughs> What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, plants are born and die. Oh, 
inside. It was a scream for the planet. Did you hear it? As if to say I hurt, I suffer. We have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? To save the planet. <laughs> But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Mugahagen. There's a Mugahagen. Look at the name, it's so strange. So full of hard looking people are here. Do you want to make some, sir? The whole place has got busy all of a sudden. We brought friends too. I'll go get them. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in the grandfather's machine. Don't worry, my machine won't run away. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I know the two people are taking it with us. It's a little finicky. Sometimes three, sometimes. Are you going somewhere? Yeah. Haha. -ha. Taking the girls. I think Aerith T for me, good friends. I mean, it's kind of rancy. I know in the beginning there was a place called Fort Condor. Yeah, it'll be a while before I go there. I just really don't care about that place much. Over here, the door's unlocked. Come in. Ho ho ho! It looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand there. Real thing. Yes. Pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the work into space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Hey, I shouldn't start.
Wow, how wonderful. Oh, you're so soft, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The bodies decompose and return to the planet. That much everyone knows. What about their consciousness? Their hearts? The soul too returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but even everything on the planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits of a tented planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge and divide, becoming a swell called life stream. Life stream, in other words, the path of energy of souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children, I'm blessed with spirit energy, and I'm brought to the world. Then the time comes, and they die, and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions. But this is the way the world. I have digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Spirit is a source of life for trees, birds, and humans. And not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. But if a spirit energy were to disappear, Those are the basics to study your planet life. Shinner is basically sucking the soul out of the planet. If spirit in the cheetah disappears, our planet will die. Spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. I think they said plants, not planets, but whatever. <laughs> Earlier. And spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured. It can't accomplish its true purpose. We're talking about Maku energy. Right. 
every day, Marco reacts to suck on spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and processed into Marco energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Marco energy would only destroy the planet. Hmm. Oh man, learned quite a bit there. The story of the planet and those who lived in them. Live in them. Oh, okay. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. But I wonder what your electricity is going off of. Coal or something? Maybe. Now we gotta go down here. Hey, little man. Learn something every day, don't ya? Hey guys. Cloud? Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. No cloud. Five years ago. It's, it's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels, it feels like you're going far away. You really, really are you. Right? Mm. You really are you, right? Close for Katie. It's a rival when she's born. I promised my guys someday we would save the planet with Shinra. We would all go to Close for Katie to celebrate. Big switch. Jesse. Another old girl died for the planet. We all say the planet. We all, we all hate the Shinra. But is it right to go on? They, they ever forgive me? Right now, I really don't know. I do know one thing. If there's anything I can do, it's to save the planet with people living on it. And I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice, revenge, or whatever. I don't care. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Get it, get it. Wow, Blanche. Blanche is born again. Oh. 
Well, I wouldn't do him when it's right now. What a boring place. Just like I thought. I would go somewhere with lots of materia. I learned a lot. The elders taught me so many things. About Cetra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all well now. But I'm here for you. Right. I know, I know, but I am the only Cetra. Does that mean we can't help? Talked in Anarchy. Long ago, when I was so very small, we were all around the flame. This flame. No, never mind. What happened? Parents. When I talk about my mother, I feel pride and joy. And that's fine. But when it's got my father, my heart is full of rage. You really can't forgive your father. Let mother, you left mother for dead. The Chi tribe attacked. He ran off by himself, leaving mother and others in canyon. Come, Nanake. There's something we should see. Huh? This place may be dangerous. Are you in one of the person? Come. Uh oh. Let's go. And also set up people to your This is probably gonna be the only time you uh see me use Sonic. I love Nanake. I do, I just don't really use them. Here we go. Alright, come, come. Okay, you need to wait, Grandpa. What are you crazy? It's dangerous in there. I told you that. You want an old man like me? Go first, I'm right behind you. All right. This place is, uh, <laughs> something. And also, this might please you. I was looking forward to this episode for one reason in particular. This episode will mark the end, the end of the music editing in. If you weren't here in the first part, the game was muted up until this dungeon. And due to that, I had to edit in the music that was in the game. I hope I got the right places the music plays. If not, 
There's not much I can do about it. But I got far enough where I really didn't want to start over. If I was in the beginning of the game, I want to start over. But I'm not, I'm also though not far enough to where I would have just given up and either just cancel the LP or start all over again. Basically, I guess I'm in the right spot. So, I'm wondering, how'd you not notice that it's muted? Because, like I've explained before, I play the games muted. Alright? Not fully muted. But, I can't hear the, t the TV at all. Because, for reasons, I have to keep the TV really, really low on volume. So, I couldn't tell. Until later on. And it was this dungeon here that I realized, shit. Was the game muted the whole time? <laughs> yeah, so up until now, I have been editing in music for the game. And I love the game so much that I remember where a lot of music plays, but not all of it. But after this episode, there will be no more editing music. It will be completely correct and how it should be. It is honestly nice, because that means less editing. I like that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like this game, but... I don't know what I would have did. Luckily, it's a game. Another reason why I was willing to do this, just edit in music, and not actually start over. Other than wanting to keep my gameplay how it is. It's not voice acted. So, it's easier to just do this. Not the game was voice acted, like, say, <laughs> somehow, Tales of Arise or Symphonia or Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> or Final Fantasy X. If those are muted the whole time, oh. I would have no choice but to start over. Because I'll do music, I'll end in music, but I refuse to also do voice acting and getting the right times. No, thank you. You're nuts if you think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Well, luckily, this is a game with no voice acting, so... It was more doable. As you could see, this cave leads to the pack of calls for Canyon. Even though the G outnumbered us, they could not attack through here because the passage is too narrow. I think it's supposed to say lava. It looks like blood to me. Down there. Just move ahead. <laughs> it's nice to have that. Not the most powerful, but it's alright. And here it is. The realization. <laughs> I was so mad. This is when I realized.
I was muted the whole time. <laughs> it makes me mad they did that. Because the game shouldn't be muted from the start. It shouldn't. <sighs> All right. Oh, man. This music's my ears. <laughs> That's a song. No more him to edit. <laughs> Except for commentary. I'm stuck with that. Hmm. All right. Also, the way to upload parts until I had this done, this situation. I should call this. Well, I think I have a name for this episode. I'm not going to say the spoilers. I'll probably try to add something with the music being Spiders. And auto auto battle is not auto battle, but random encounters are such a double edged sword. Because on one side it's easier around the combat, and it can be fun, but it can also be a pain in the ass. That's random encounters. It's so annoying. Field the counters can be fun and you can see what the enemies are doing, but also it's just like, oh, I'll be alone sometimes. I honestly wonder if turn based learning might come back. I'm not going against action base. Action base is fine. I'm not a fan of the generic stuff, though. Like a lot of modern Final Fantasies. Generic action combat. If I don't see 16, is it even an RPG? <laughs> Honestly, that is questionable. I can get my turn based stuff for everybody. Just like never how my action's not for everybody. I like both when it comes down to it. I'll play both. The wheel went through this cable, no. Fighting attackers, one after the other. Grandpa, that warrior. <laughs> We're almost there. Oh, look at that thing. Kind of looks like a tree yet. A little bit. What is this? Grandpa, you see? Lots of death. The ghost of the chi. Like stagnant air. This can't be. Oh, look at that face. 
creepy face. <laughs> I remember there used to be a trick where you could phoenix down him and he would die. But... <laughs> I think I mistook the versions. I think the phoenix down glitch is fixed in this version. I think I actually mistook it for a PlayStation 1 version there. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, my first version of 7 was the PlayStation 1. <laughs> well. I always found it really fun. It hasn't aged badly in terms of story. A little. Well, not completely, but there are definitely some places in the story that Seven has not de-aged kind of bad. Or at least a little poorly. When really any game I've played is parts of aged bad. When it comes to story and gameplay or something like that. No game is flawless. None of the games I've played are flawless. I'm not going to say that. But I love them, all the same. Basically, later on I'll end up reviewing. You'll never see me give a game a flat zero. Even games of you said I didn't like, I'm not gonna give a zero. Because to be a zero, I feel like the disc had to combust in your hand. Or cartridge as soon as you try to put it in. <laughs> Basically just not work. Or be so buggy that it was unenjoyable trash. It's the only way I'd probably give a game a zero. And to me, clearly... Ten is nearly impossible. Nine and eight are pretty possible for me to give some games that I really like. Seven is kind of mediocre to me in the grading scale. But the number seven as I'm grading, not not this game, no. <laughs> Spoiler alert, seven is Final Fantasy seven is above a seven. But not Max, either. Seven's kind of... The grading score seven is a little mediocre. That's what that means to me. Save so a six. And anything below with that... Is... I just don't like... That's how I kind of grade games. Play. But 8, 9, and 10 for me, those are probably games. Well, not exactly. I would say 9 and 10. 9 and 10 are games that are probably in my top 10. Games of all time. Probably, not always. Still finicking that one. <laughs> Honestly, if I play Final Fantasy VI, I'll probably play it for the computer. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe easier to deal with. Thank you, Cloud. Because of you, we survived. Not okay. You've grown strong. Oh yeah, knowing that it wasn't a mistake, 
bring you here. Oh, you thought it was a mistake before? Come on, I have something to show you. I'm glad the music is back at this point. Goodness. This is... The warrior who fought against the chain. He kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. But he was never able to return to town. Look, Nanake. Look at your father. The warrior set up. That Seto? Seto continued to fight the G. And Kevin, even after the G poisoned his arrows, even after all the. Seto continued to pursue. And he continued to protect us. Even now. Even now. You thought that your father was a coward and ran away, but he alone risked his life for Castle Canyon. That is your father, Seto. What is Seto? Did Mother know? <laughs> she knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. They asked me to seal it myself, not to tell us so. And he said we should forget about this cave. Club, do you mind leaving the two of us alone? Okay. I want you to continue your journey with Club and the others. Grandpa. Listen, not okay. Cloud says that you're trying to save the planet. I don't think it can be done, honestly. For even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Even if they stop Sethroth, everything will perish. Well, not okay. Well, I've been thinking lately. I've been thinking if there was anything we could do. As a part of the planet, something to help the planet. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? Am I just wishing we get straight? I'm too old to do anything about it. <laughs> the 
This year I'll be 130. Wow. But it's why not, okay? You must go with them. For my sake. 130 years old. Man. Grandpa. I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I'm so glad that you came back. Well, he was still around. Rebel, don't talk like that. I don't want to think life without you. Well, I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening. I can plan it and I'll come back to you. Not again. I am not again of Castle Canyon, the son of the Warrior Center. Come back a warrior, true. It's a noble name. True to that noble name. So please, Grandpa. Oh, That's Sutu. Sutu's tears. Sutu. Father. That buggy's fixed, so we can go now. Shall we get going? So, this is it. Red 13. It's just the way it goes. Let's go. Fury, fury, fury. Wait for me, I'm coming too. Loud. Please look after Nanaki. What happened? I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Hmm. All right. Whew. Well, now it's time. Do we have a long? Look at that thing. Huh. There we go. Ooh. Where are we going? Just in case you're wondering, we're actually getting near the halfway mark of the disc. 
Just for one. We'll be reaching in this one soon. There's some stuff I need to do for the end of this one. First, you gotta get past here. Oh? What? This was all burnt down, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I thought so. Then why? My house is still here too. Something strange. I'm not lying. Remember, you need to see it. Flames. Oh man. Well, see you guys next time. Continue on a strange journey. Bye bye.